Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. Oh, oh, uh, oh, we're starting out with some action. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay. Probably should be using Soul Arrow or something, but... Actually, there's no probably. I just... I, I should be using it. That was, that was unnecessary damage that I did not need to take, but alright. I don't remember what's over here. Specifically here, I mean. Oh, now I do. Now I do. Hey, look! It's a dragon! Or two. Yeah, we don't want to go over here right now. Arguably ever. Okay, maybe not arguably ever, but I don't want to deal with it right now, so... Yeah, well, let's go the other way. Why am I holding my shield? I know there's no enemies. <laughs> I should probably be running more often, but I forget that I can run. And then, okay, bye. Alright, I was waiting for something to happen that did not happen. Those of you who have played the game, and those of you who probably haven't already know what I'm trying to do. God damn it. Here we go. Yes? Okay. I'm trying to get some- there it is. Hi. What? Why did you not... Okay, I'm trying to get this dragon to do something. I don't know why I'm being oblique about it. Dragon fucking flames the bridge. Fuck you. I'm waiting for it to happen. I don't know exactly when it happens. Because I don't want it to kill me. For very obvious reasons. Dying would be bad. There we go. So we want this dragon to do that. So that way all the enemies that would get in our way die horribly. But now, no one's going to be shooting at us. We still have to make a run though. I'm trying to see if I have to... If I wait here, will the dragon fuck off? I don't remember if it does that or if it just does this forever now. Alright. Okay, yeah, now it fucks off. Okay. So the idea behind this is that you want to make sure that these enemies are all dead so that way they don't get in the way when you make a huge run like this. I want that grass though. Oh, there's these guys who are still alive, but I don't care. There we go. You just really want to make it to the other side, obviously. So that way you can uh, do some stuff. Again, I'm being oblique for reasons unknown. Why are you bothering me? Hi. You die now. Thanks for the shield, I guess. Is any good? Buckler versus soldier shield. Um, I don't think we can carry it, so no, it's not better. Because I don't think our strength is at 10. However. Okay, uh, hey, it's a switch. No one's behind me, right? Okay. Alright, so that's, that's out of the way now. Because we really wanted to get to this lever. Why is this cutscene taking forever to load? There. <laughs> I was getting worried we were running into some Persona 3 load screen shenanigans. But yeah, this lever is incredibly important because it's opening up the way to go. So that door is the main gate. And, oh, it's a spear. Oh no. Whatever. So yeah, we wanted to get that done ASAP. Because that is, uh... Once we, once we go through that area and get business done, that is the end of the tutorial. And I would like to approach that as soon as possible. Uh, okay, uh, hi. Cool. Taking so much more damage than I need to be taking from from this whole endeavor, but whatever. 
Can I? Thank you. It's funny, because there's a merchant I can interact with at this point in the game, but I still haven't found them. Also, Turpentine is extremely helpful to have. Uh, for anyone who's played Dark Souls, it's basically like, uh... Actually, fuck it, let me read the item. Uh, oh, and by the way, I tried to fix my problem with the display being bad. Uh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> We're gonna have to live with it. Uh, where is Turpentine? Turpentine! So, natural resin collected from a pine tree. Apply it to the right-hand weapon to cover it in fire. Uh, cannot be applied to wooden weapons. So yeah, it's basically like the, uh, like the pine resin from the other games. By the other games, I mean Dark Souls. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's useful to have, especially, especially for things that we'll be encountering soon. Oh, hi. Well, the joke's on you. Okay, it's on me. Again, I don't care if using Soul Arrow makes me a pussy or whatever. I'm I'm doing this and I don't care. It's a let's play, goddammit. <laughs> I don't have anything to prove. Besides, uh, we still have yet to get to the main gimmick of this let's play, which we will encounter in this game, believe you me. Or, uh, segment, I should say. <laughs> hey, asshole. Thanks. Okay. All right, and hello, more of you guys. Don't you get tired of dying? Look at this shit. I don't even have to do anything. Oh god. <laughs> Although my camera targeting may have uh, inadvertently almost killed me. And hey, look, it's a creepy thing. Let's take a look at it. Let's look at this thing. Hey, look, it's a thing. So yeah, that's a new enemy. I'll talk about it in just a moment. First, I want to kill this guy. Oh, okay. We're, we're mostly hitting the new thing. There we go. So this is an enemy. I don't remember what it's called. I want to say it's a hoplite. It's basically just a big ball of sludge. And uh, it's really weak to magic. And also to fire. <laughs> so that turpentine that we just found could be very helpful for it. Also the fire bombs that we've gotten from various enemies in this area. Unfortunately for them, I don't need to use either. I just have to use my uh, magic. Unknown hero soul. I'm missing an item. There's one specific item I've been looking for, and I'm missing it. And if I don't find it soon, I might have to just look. Mother oh, fuck. I might have to just look up where it is off screen for next segment or something. Uh, hi. Yeah, if you attack it with a regular weapon, it's very not effective on the shield. But if you get around its back, you can damage it decently well. Uh, I want to heal myself just in case I fuck up and, like, y you never know. Just in case. Uh, do 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 hey, another hoplite. I wonder if I can actually kill this thing reasonably well with just attacking its back. It takes a little bit of attacks, but, meh. I mean, there's no real cost to using magic when I have the fragrant ring, but, whatever. Is this the item I need? No, it is not. Okay. There's specifically one item I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just look it up later, because I should have had it by now, I think. Unless I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure you can get it very early on in the game. So, yeah. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's just fight the... Let's just go. I, I almost said it, but it's, we're going to be fighting a boss. <laughs> let's just fight the boss now. Uh, let me set my inventory, just to make sure... Okay, fire bombs, old spice. I don't really need old spice, but whatever. Serpentine, I don't even need to use. Brass telescope, I sure as fuck don't need to use. Okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of the, the old spice and this, and then set half moon grass since we have quite a bit of it. Uh, old spice, just in case I get into a position where I want to use it. And then uh, fire bomb, just for the fuck of it. Actually, yeah, I should be using fire bombs. It's not like fire bombs are very useful in any other point in the game. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. And we're fighting a boss! Oh no! Oh my god, it's a boss. This boss is none other than Phalanx. Uh, the main gimmick behind this boss is that it's a Phalanx formation. That's that's it. I've just explained the entire gimmick to you. Are you... Are you am I a good Let's Player now? This is uh, not a very difficult boss if you know what you're doing. You just have to not be terrible. 
Unfortunately, I am kind of terrible. The fire bombs really do some work because, like I said, the uh, the hoplites are weak to the to the fire element. Also, this guy's cornering me. I don't like being in the corner. Let's fix that. And much like the hoplites, phalanx has a weakness to its back. Uh, the problem with killing the hoplites is that if you explicitly only go for them, they do regenerate after some time. So you kind of want to put a fire under your ass and go for phalanx specifically. I mean, you really, the timer for them is like, I think, three minutes. So it's not a big deal either. It's just like, you want to... You want to eventually be smart about it. And Phalanx really can't do anything by itself. It really just relies on... Oh. Okay. I didn't realize it was out. Alright, let's just start soul arrowing. Fuck it. But yeah, Phalanx itself is that big blob. It's hard to tell, I think. There's like a big blob that the, uh, that the hoplites are on, specifically. And it really doesn't have the ability to do much. Uh, Solaro is just devastating it right now. Yeah, I, I really just want to make sure I do this before the hoplites respawn, because that'll make this take way longer than it needs to. Can I just start targeting Phalanx? Oh, asshole. I want to target Phalanx. There we go. You could probably just soul arrow, soul arrow this thing to death with the Fragrant Ring. Yeah, look at that. It just it can't really do anything once you kill most of the hoplites. Like I said, hoplites are the only thing that can really damage you in this fight. Alright, I'm out of magic now. Or MP. So, let's start attacking it the old-fashioned way. Asshole. Oh, you're you're annoying and you don't you don't like taking damage physically. Okay, come on. Asshole! Those hoplites are a real pain in the ass. Okay. I just need to get a, a good solid hit in on Phalanx and we're good. Asshole! Are you fucking joking? Oh, come on, Phalanx. Be nice. I'm a Let's Player. I'm doing it on YouTube. Can't you tell? Okay, there we go. Hooray! We didn't die to Phalanx, the easiest boss in the game. I was mildly concerned I would somehow fuck this up and die and embarrass myself, but we didn't. <laughs> anyway, we revived! Hooray! Now we have full HP and we're in human form. Isn't that nice? Isn't that grand? I think that's grand. I think we should celebrate by checking to make sure that there's no items on the walls, because I don't remember if Phalanx's arena has any drops in it. I used to- I, I think it does somewhere, but I can't figure out where. Nothing? Nothing? Alright, whatever. Whatever. So now, let's go to the Archstone that we just generated by killing Phalanx. Hooray, we get Lead Demon Soul. That will be extremely useful though. But it, what is useful is that now we're in human form and we have a lot of souls. And more importantly, we can go back to the Nexus and advance the plot a little. If you could say this game has a plot, which it kind of doesn't. I don't know. Any day now. These load screens are a bit long. Welcome back. Hi. The monumental awaits the above. Cool, I guess. Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Well, that's nice of them. Alright. Well. Let's go see the Monumental, then. Just to check. Someone hasn't shown up, right? Okay, you're... S oh, no, you're here. You're here. This is who I was looking for last segment. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freak the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. 
Maybe. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Cool. Sage Frake is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Cool. Well, this is exactly who I wanted to talk to. This is Frake's Apprentice. Uh, he is kind of your introductory uh, spell teacher guy. Whatever. Uh, trainer. Frake is a great sage who systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. Okay. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he's likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Frake as soon as possible. All right. How can you be Frake's apprentice if you're... Ah, whatever. Anyway, so he sells us spells. Uh, to be honest, I don't even think I want any of his spells, but I just want him to be here. Just in case I need to... Uh, in case I need to... Uh, like, change my, uh, my... Like, attune my spells, basically. Uh, Flame Toss could be actually kind of useful, to be honest, but... Eh, I don't want to spend the, the souls on it right now. And a thousand souls isn't a lot for the game, but it's a lot for me right now, so I don't want to buy anything. You say anything else? All the more. Okay. All right, bye. I see. So you sir. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible. Yeah, whatever, dude. I, I'm sure you want to tongue kiss him, but I have stuff to do. But yeah, anyway, let's go see the monumental. So we go up the stairs, and it'll be... Quite a climb before we reach the monumental, but that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. There is stuff to get in the nexus, actually, up here. I don't remember where all of it is, but... I think there's not that much to get in the first place, so maybe I do. I know there's one drop in particular that I want. That I capital W want. Because, well, you'll see. Anyway, uh... Da, 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 da. Quite a ways up to get to this monumental person. We could go here, but what's, what's over here first? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Does this lead to something? Of course it does. Why else would I go this way? <laughs> Yuck. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I? No. Am I misremembering? Because I thought this led to like a multiplayer stats thing. Maybe that does later after you talk to the monumental? Maybe. Whatever. That's not important. But, uh... What is important is that I find the item that's around here. So... Where is it? Somewhere here. There it is! I want that item. How do I get to it? Here we go. I think we go here. And then... Yep, there we go. And it's a stone of ephemeral eyes! I greatly want that item for reasons that are going to eventually become relevant. I mean, it, it, it's, it's just a really good item. Those are very rare, and the game hands you this one for free. Where's the Monumental? Monumental, where are you? Don't, don't mind the corpses, by the way. Monumental, where are you? You're on the second floor, aren't you? Oh, whatever. Sooner I talk to the Monumental, the better. So, where are you? Monumental, where are you? Seriously, where there you are. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I've only slayed Flaylinks, but okay. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. Cool. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too... A scourge of demons faced. Uh. Oh. In the distant past. I did not remember this cutscene. Under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog. And the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Cool. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, 
We entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. All right. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. Cool, I guess. The were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. You know, thinking about it, you did kind of a shitty job hiding soul arts and forbidding it. I'm just some random guy who... Ah, oh, whatever. By power of monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Cool. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Sure. Why not? Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The cool. old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Anything else to say then? We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones However, man's memory Sorry, that was just... <laughs> is all short. <laughs> she just said that already, long, though. He repeated his mistakes. Cool. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. Oh, King Alant, why would you do that? I'm sure that will be an important name. The monumentals perished, and the arch... Okay. Oh, that's all the all the backstory we're getting out of you, I guess. So, let's go all the way back now, because we we've talked to the monumental. So now, the lady in wax, I'm sure, will have something to tell us, uh, or to share with us, or whatever. If nothing else, we got the stone of ephemeral eyes. So I I, I would consider that a, a job well done. I don't know. Do 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 do. Making sure not to fall off here, because if I lost my humanity uh, to a simple careless fall, that would be very shitty. Whatever. Time to talk to you. What do you have to say? Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you have to say now? Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Blue eye stone, white eye stone. Cool, I guess. Eye stone separately early connect you to diffused worlds or use your physical form. Remember your eye stone. Yeah, that doesn't matter because I don't have uh, Well, I mean the servers aren't online anymore, so it doesn't matter, but whatever. The main controls in human souls. The power allows, to, uh, allows her to aid those who slay demons. So now... What is it? Does thou seek soul power? You bet your fucking tits I do. Seek soul power, so yes. Weird. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Okay. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Alrighty. So, before we seek soul power, let's talk to her again. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Nothing else? I keep the candles. Okay. So, with with the ability to seek soul power, soul 
Now we can level up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because we finally reached it. We finally have reached the gimmick of this Let's Play. Hi. I'm going to be randomly generating what stats I level up in this. <laughs> I am gonna... Random.org. What stats I level up. So, every stat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, has a chance to be leveled up. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not going to be able to pick which, I just hit generate and... 3! So we're leveling up endurance. Endurance, yes. Let's try it again. Endur <laughs> endurance again, okay. I mean, Endurance isn't a terrible stat, but, like, I, I I know what stats I would be going for. Endurance isn't one of them. Okay, so now we're going for Dexterity. I guess that's probably for the best, considering Dexterity is an important stat uh, for offense. And we're using a Dexterity weapon. De dexterity again. Okay. How many souls do I have? Uh, how many more do I have, I should say? Oh, I still have a, I still have a decent amount. Uh, let me put this here. Bookmarks be damned. Let me... Can I hide bookmarks? No, I cannot. Alright, well, everyone gets to see this now. There. We're gonna, okay. Let's scroll down a bit. I should have done this before, but whatever. Alright, generate. Again. One. We get to raise our vitality. Hooray. Vitality is a stat I definitely would want to raise on this build first thing. Because it has a little HP and that's it. Okay, next stat. Seven. Faith. Definitely not a stat I want to raise, but the, the the RNG the RNG controls everything. So three, we are raising endurance yet again. All right, we don't have enough souls to level up now, but I wanna I wanna level up a bit more. So let me let me use some souls that I got. Uh, unknown soldiers use. Oh, you have to use it individually. I totally forgot. Oh, I totally forgot. You have to use it individually. Alright. Well, we'll be here for a minute. Uh, but yeah, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna get as much stats on this character as I can. So that way I know exactly what build I should be trying to go for as early as possible. Because I don't have an exact route mapped for what I want to do with this Let's Play. Uh... This is a very open-ended game in the sense that you could really do any of the five main archstones uh, in any order for the most part. There's a few times where you get blocked off because you haven't done X, Y, or Z. Uh, well, really just X. There's one specific thing you have to do to access some areas. But otherwise, it's a, you get a lot of freedom with that. And the way that I see it is that the more stats I have, the better idea of what I can go for. Because I know that there's some items and weapons and armor and shit in certain areas that I would want to go for if I have one build or if I have another build. Also, I am using the Lead Demon Soul. This is uh, Phalanx's Soul. You can get the Scraping Spear with it. Scraping Spear is good for PvP, and by good, I mean annoying. Uh, otherwise, you can't use it for anything else. It doesn't even give that many souls. It's a one playthrough only soul, and I just, I'm not doing a new game plus for this Let's Play. So, all the demon souls that I'm not going to be fusing into something, I'm going to be using. Uh, yeah, I think it gives like 1700, 1900, something like that, off the top of my head. Uh, Great Demon Soul, you don't even get the, like, you don't even need to worry about using on an item or weapon. So, yeah. Now we have more souls to use for level ups, which is what I am valuing here. At the end of the day, having stats is good. I feel so. Yeah, we have a lot of we have a lot of souls now. So, uh, five, three, four, five. We are just we're we're, we're gonna be a dexterity build, I guess. Okay. Uh, two intelligence. That's the stat I would want. Uh, actually, maybe. Actually, yeah. If I get another level up, I'd want it. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so now two, three endurance. Okay. Two! Cool, we got another spell slot. So now I want to buy Flame Toss. So I want to stop when I have only a thousand souls left. Because I want Flame Toss. Uh, mm, yeah, I might as well, because I don't have anything else I could put on that slot right now. So, 
Yeah, let's do another one. One! Vitality! Cool. We have double-digit vitality now. Ain't that grand? Seven! Another faith! Okay. I am so happy I didn't get, like, four luck rolls. Because luck is a terrible stat in this game. But I've spoken that into existence by saying that. I know I have. Okay, okay, four. Uh, four is strength. Not a very good stat for us, but whatever. And we can't even level up anymore, so that's fine. So, with this build, we're kind of pancaking a bit. But we have good dexterity. Mmm, I think I want to take a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I want to take a chance and go for a specific weapon that is in a specific area. But I'm worried we might not be good enough to handle it, but whatever. Okay, let's learn Flame Toss. Just because there's going to be a few, uh, few different enemies that are weak to fire. And it's just nice to have the variety, so... Having multiple spells is good. Uh, shoots out a stream of fire, explodes upon impact, causing fire damage to target. Likely the first, or usually the first spell learned by, uh... I want to say, like, ide ideologically it should be new magicians, but, like... Okay, town magicians. Town magicians. Alright. Okay. That's, on honestly, this build so far... Okay, normally it would not be I was... I to make an exception. Shut up. Shut up, dude. I shouldn't have talked over your lines, but I don't care. Uh, so yeah, normally, normally I would probably put way more attention into my magic stat because I do like to go magic in this game. But having dexterity isn't bad either. I don't immediately remember, uh, where, like what a good end game dexterity weapon would be. So I might want to look into that off screen. But anyway, uh, so we've got the six arch stones. Unfortunately, this one is broken, so we can't do anything with it. But, uh, yeah, we've got the five arch stones we can go through. First one was over there. Uh, second one I don't want to go to right now. Third one I don't want to go to right now. And fifth one I don't want to go to right now. Well, you know where I want to go? I want to go to 4 1, baby. <laughs> the uh, Shrine of Storms, the Shadow Man arch stone. The island shrine of the Shadow Man who worship storms and mourn the dead. Here the storm priests fly, or storm beasts fly above, and the souls of the dead inhabit empty skeletons to move about freely. So, this is off the cuff, so this is where I'm deciding to go right now. Off screen, I'll probably do a little bit of research and just see if there's anything better I would want to get. Uh, or like any, anywhere that would be better to go to right now. I will say Shrine of Storms, uh, I'll be calling it 4-1 from here on out, because this is the fourth archstone and the first part of it. Uh, 4 1 is generally kind of a difficult area for starting out in immediately, but it has a lot of good items, if I recall correctly. Or at the very least, there's one really good item, uh, and generally speaking, if you get to it, it really helps you out. Uh, there's also some other. I, I want to say there's like rings or something you can get too, but. Oh, that increases our. I didn't even realize that increases our, our MP. I just noticed, okay. So right now I don't trust our uh, I don't trust our Falchian to be doing enough to this guy, so I'm gonna be camping him with uh, with uh, Soul Arrow. And again, I don't care if it's lame. Wow, that's a lot of souls. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this area is this, this place is gonna be profitable. I'll tell you that. Uh, da, 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 da. I think normally most people, when they play this game for the first time, I know I did at least, when I first played it, I went to 1-2, so I just went past the Phalanx Archstone. Can I pull you? I'd like to pull you away from the Archer. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, most people go to 1-2. 1-2 isn't a terrible Archstone or, like, area to go to, but I don't recommend it personally, just because the boss there can actually kind of fuck your shit up. And there's better places you could, like, there's not a lot of items you get from it that would really help you in terms of your build, I feel. Asshole. There. And generally speaking, I just don't love it compared to the other areas you can explore. Get off me. <laughs> because there's a lot that you can explore early on. Like, even though we're at a low so level relative to some of the later parts of the game, there's still a lot we can check out, so. I'm trying not to gush too much or, like, over-explain, but... It is important, because I want to. I want people to know what the fuck I'm planning. Uh, another good archstone, or at least another archstone I think a lot of people try early on, is the second one. 
And 2-1 isn't bad, but the boss there is a fucking nightmare. Uh, I, I really struggled against the boss there, so... Not looking forward to fighting that in this playthrough. At least not yet. I would prefer if we, uh... I hear you. I'd prefer if we were stronger. Oh, did that skeleton just jump off the ledge? Cool. Thanks, I guess. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, the boss for this area, should we actually reach it, is fairly easy. Uh, at least in my opinion. I think I think that's not a controversial opinion, though. The boss here for this area is pretty easy, I think. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, come over here. Oh, you're just gonna run away, okay. Oh god, that's a lot of damage! Jeez. Jesus, fuck, that's a lot. See what I mean? See, this is why I'm playing it super safe. Because that was a lot of damage, and we can't really afford to take too much damage. Uh, let's use a... Uh, there. Okay, and then let's use another... Oh, I don't want my fucking toolbar to be clogged up. That's the one thing I don't like about these games, is that it takes them forever to realize that I don't want... Uh, my, my, like, a utility belt to be clogged up. God, those archers are gonna fuck me up if I let them hit me. Okay, come on. No! Okay. Okay. Uh, let's be careful. Let's be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Come on. I didn't even see what that was because I was too worried about the archers. Can I target them? I can. Okay. Well, I want to. I want to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm. Uh, why am I not using Soul Arrow when I press R1? There. I was pressing R1 multiple times and it wasn't casting Soul Arrow. But yeah, this is what people mean when they say magic is really good in this game. It just like, I wouldn't have been able to access those guys for a little bit and now they're dead. Because I have Soul Arrow. And the Fragrant Ring means that my MP will recover over time. It's very nice. And hey, look, it's a flying beast. Look at that. I wonder, will it actually target us? I can target it. Can I... Nah, okay. Probably for the best. Those things will fuck you up. Anyways. Uh, you have to be mindful of them, because they will attack us, though, later in the level. But I'm getting ahead of myself. And what's that in the distance? <gasps> it's Vanguard! Except for Vanguard's actually kind of a threat here. Well, not, not a threat so much as just he's not in the best position to be in. He is not someone I want to deal with right now. Although he does give a decent amount of souls. Uh, one of these, there's the trap. So you can see it, it's a trap. Uh, I don't remember which what direction these come from. Okay. Just making sure. Alright, and... Is there someone? I thought I heard something. No? Okay. No. Isn't there an... There is the enemy. Because I remember this enemy. This enemy blocks the item I really want. Oh, you don't even take that much damage from magic. You're scary. You're real scary. Oh, I'm scared. You're scary. Have, have you considered dying? I want the item for... Alright, this is bad. This is really bad. Where did he go? Okay, I guess he just stopped caring. Oh, I'm so good at video games. It's, un it's, it's scary, really. So now, let's go back there again. I would prefer to get the item he's blocking. Like, I greatly prefer. Those of you who've played the game know exactly what item I want. Okay, I'm just gonna peg him from here. He doesn't have a shield, so he can't really deal with it. And look, he's, he's got hits done. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we're doing it consistently, and he doesn't... We lived. That's why that guy is scary. That's why that guy is scary. <laughs> Shard of Bladestone. That's not too bad for this point in the game. Uh, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like getting this item. Crescent Falchion plus one. We are using that. 
So we have the scimitar, right? And then look at what the Crescian Falchion looks like. So we get a magic bonus from it. Unfortunately, our magic isn't that good right now, but it just does a lot of damage for this point of the game. So yeah, now let's go back. Boom, boom, boom. Being plus one just by itself is already a really good, uh, really good consideration about it. I totally forgot I had Flame Toss. I think that guy might have been weaker to Flame Toss than Soul Arrow. Whatever. Anyway, I kind of want to go back now. I don't care if I'm if I'm being a pussy. Uh, I, I really only wanted the Crescent Falchion. Uh, that was really my primary thing to get out of this area. Because we're taking a lot of damage from these enemies. And frankly, like... I know there's, there's other good weapons you could get in this level. But I don't immediately remember what they are. I think one of them's a ring that's really good. Uh, but either way, I don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, I would rather just, you know, collect my bearings and keep my human form. And also use the souls that I gathered on some RNG level ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch my gay cunt, I know. So now, bring this over here. What are we getting? Magic, 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 magic! Uh, that is dexterity. Okay, we are becoming a dexterity build, so help me God. Generate magic. Okay, and uh, uh, this is almost like, this is bordering on what a normal playthrough would be for someone who's doing a dexterity build. Whatever. Again, I don't really remember what good dexterity weapons are in this game. I've only really gone magic and strength, so... Yeah. Not bad, all things considered. If nothing else, leveling up just gives us generally... Uh, like, getting more endurance increases our physical defense and equip burden, and just... It's generally nice to have endurance regardless of what your build is, so... Uh, anyway, let's talk to you. you the last surviving monumental? Yeah, I did. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. Uh, all right. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. I didn't. You have anything else to say? Still alive? I am impressed. Yeah, I'm cool. This is something that might interest us. What is it? I don't remember what you the give me. Road oh, it's just Nexus information. Looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. Okay. She can control souls like no other. Okay. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. So I guess that's the game's way of like hinting that you can level up. Do not devolve into a foul beast. All right. You know, something just occurred to me. One second. I want to see if. Will you talk to me? Back in the time that I lived below Boletaria Castle. Oh. Left on some that, strange never mind. business. Then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by demons and soul-starved madmen. Okay. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, a keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. I think you could have survived without it, but that's just me. If I did not have... Okay. So there is someone over here. And there's someone here, too. I, for some reason, didn't think you were you would be here yet. Okay, let's talk to you first. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. Okay. And now I have run away and abandoned his honorableness. All right. Oh, Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. All right. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. You know me. I, too, am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. So, much like Freak's Apprentice, this guy will teach us miracles. He's the miracle trainer. But, I don't know if I really want miracles right now. Uh, evacuate would probably be the best miracle I could have on my person besides heal. Heal is a good miracle and all, but I don't have a, a talisman I can use. So it's like, 
it's good at what cost, you know? Like, sure, it's useful, but if I can't even use it in the first place, why bother? Uh, but there are good miracles in this game that are worth getting, so... Nah. A miracle is a heavenly act. You have a cat... Er, spells not a catalyst, a... Uh, demons, the work of Do you have a talisman you could give me? They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Yeah. Black and white morality, that's all what in the, the end, Souls games are about. Are mere servants of the demons. No, seriously though, could you give me a talisman? I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. Alright. Can I buy one from uh, from either Stockpile Thomas? Oh, never mind. Stockpile Thomas doesn't sell anything. It's uh, simple. Shut up. Trick, can I, can, so do, do you do you sell talismans? Battle axe. No, you do not. All right, that's a shame. Well, no interest. I guess more reason why I'm not going to be super interested in miracles for right now. Uh, anyway, let's go to two one. I'm thinking 2-1 is probably just a good place to make some progress. I definitely don't want to fight the boss right now, as I've said before. But if I make a little progress in 2-1, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because the game kind of has it scaled to expect you to have... like, it Basically, they, they would expect you to come this way at some point. So, uh, Like, early on, I, I say. so. Yeah. And I figure we're probably at a decent enough level that we can get a decent chunk of it out of the way. Decently. Mad decent, even. Okay, uh... Where are you? There you are. Crystal Lizard, but I want to kill you. Shit, I shouldn't have hesitated. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! You're not escaping. You're not getting out of here alive. No! 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 So, I killed it, but I don't get its drops. That is the worst of both worlds on that one. Oh, fuck everything. Whatever. Well, it's not like I was super, super duper needing it, but I would have preferred to get whatever it was going to give me, so. <laughs> Hello there. Same. Souls. Trying to get a good view souls. of this guy. I trade fine goods for souls. Yeah? Well, filthy man, do you have anything I'd want? Shard of Hearthstone, not really. Shard of Sharpstone, eh. I mean, I, I've gotten plenty of that by now. Uh, so really only Crescent Grass, and that's about it. Pickaxe, I definitely don't need. You want to play? Well, you've got to pay. Well, I should have talked to you first. I should have talked to you again. Let's, let's talk to me. Talk to me. Talk, oh, talk to me. Talk to talk to me. <laughs> it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with it. By the way, the, the audio sound in the background is, is not like your computer fucking up. Thank you, Lord, for this <laughs> that is, golden opportunity. That's actually something that's going on. Have you heard about that sparkling lizard? He's not easy to catch, but he's got some fine stones. Cool. And I know where his nest is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it away. <laughs> That's fine. I know where it is too, motherfucker. Thank you, Lord, for this. Yeah, whatever. You want to play? Shut don't up. You? All right, and then let's go in here, and we can hear something. We can hear something, but we can't do anything about it. Well, either way, let's move on. Your next enemy is susceptible to pierce attacks, okay? Well. Next enemy is susceptible to spell. Okay, you don't have to tell me. I could have divined that on my own. So yeah, there's some, there's some more throwing rocks up there. And unfortunately, this game has a little bit of funkiness with, like, rocks that are thrown in that, uh, they're really, like, uh, their hitbox lingers. I want that item. Give me that fucking item. 
Motherfucker. Okay, uh, I think that was sticky white stuff. Well, if it was, I don't want to use it right now for obvious reasons. That are not actually obvious, but... Anyway, here's a lever that I've missed so many times uh, when I played this game. It's not even funny. It does not stand out very well. Oh, uh, okay. I kind of... I'd like to get on the elevator. Thank you. So now let's kill those guys throwing rocks just because they pissed me off. Hi, fat official. This is a fat official. He can use magic. He's kind of annoying. Even with the Crescent Falchion, we're not doing a lot of damage, so that could be a problem. Yeah, we're not doing that much. Magic, at least, is doing something. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about what I'm going to use as a weapon, but we'll get there when we get there. Full moon grass. Nice to know. Okay. You die now. I unfortunately am going to probably have to be using Soul Arrow for a, lot of, for a long time because, uh, this Crusty and Felshine is not doing the damage I was hoping it would. Whatever. What, are, what is this again? Crushing Battle Axe. You know, if we had better strength, that would be a real gift. That was another weapon I remembered was in this area. I just didn't remember exactly where. Yeah, it would be really nice if I had the strength to wield that, but unfortunately, I kind of don't. Uh, how do I get down again? Oh, it just goes over. I'm used to the, uh, to the Blight Town one where they flip over, but this one doesn't, it looks like. Yeah. There's also an item over here that I want to get. Again, I don't remember what it is because it's been like 17 years since I played this game, but I want it. I could probably get rid of the cling ring for as long as I'm in human form, but I don't have any other rings to equip either, so it's like I might as well keep it on. You know, just in case I die and I forget to re-equip it. What is this? Stone of Ephemeral Eyes! Hot dog! We're in the money. We are in the money. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't know how much progress I'll make in this area, because it's a pretty... This, this level's pretty long before you actually get to loop back around, so I'll probably just stop once I hit around an hour, once I find a good place to stop. Uh, if nothing else, it's like I might as well like make as much progress as makes sense, and then from there we'll move on. See, these guys are dying pretty quickly to the Crescent Falchion. That's good. I would have been extremely worried if they took like three or four hits. Because those guys are meant to die quickly. Yeah, see? Real easy shit. Don't even have to use Soul Arrow. This guy has a pickaxe, so we gotta be careful. But not really, because he's not that threatening. Uh. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I'm just... If I'm not explaining what I'm doing, it's that I'm pretty sure there's stuff I need to be worried about in this area, and I'm trying to make sure I locate it. Because I remember that there's, like... I think there's dogs and a fat official that show up at some point. So I want to be careful. Cause if you and if you attack one, you end up aggroing them all. So I wanted to get rid of the one that'd be the most problem first. Hey, look, a guy with a bag. Let's kill him. I'm sure he's not important. And yeah, he is. <laughs> so yeah, those guys are a one-time only spawn. As in, like, there's always a set number of them. But oh, come on. Anyway, uh, they spawn once per playthrough, basically. So once you kill that guy, he never respawns, but there's multiple of them in the level. So every time you see a guy with a bag, you want to kill him and loot his shit, basically. Uh... I hear a dog. One thing that kind of sucks about this Let's Play is that, uh... Is that, uh... I have to play at this low resolution, so I can't really make as good, like... I can't really see as much of the... There, there's the dog. Oh, I knew that would happen. <laughs> this is why I was... 
That is exactly why I was worried about my environment when I first entered that room. Because I knew that could happen. Uh, I should have killed that fat official when I aggroed him. And it was dumb of me not to. Ah, well. You live and learn. So, do those bullet guys respawn? I can't talk. They do respawn. I thought they didn't. That's a shame. Whatever. They're not usually an issue to get by. They're just annoying like that. So. Whatever. Human form, it was nice while it lasted, but you kind of play most of the game not in human form. Unless you already know what you're doing. Alright, so those guys are back. Let's kill them. Just so they don't sneak up on me. Hey, asshole. Asshole. Bad officials are probably the most annoying enemy in this area. Well, at least, like, in terms of this level. There's there's much more annoying enemies later in the level, trust me. Well, I don't know if they're annoying, but they're just, like, whatever. We'll get there when we get there. Shard of Spiderstone. That is a very rare drop to get from these guys. That is weird. Not I'm not upset about it. I'm definitely not upset about it. Just, okay. So now the dogs are always aggroed, and they're always out here. And there's multiple! Just my luck. Let's draw them over here, because I don't want to deal with the fat official if he gets aggroed somehow. Actually, I have soul arrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye, bitch. There we go. So yeah. Now that those guys are taken care of... Uh, we should be fine for the most part. Fine-ish. Reminiscent of fine. You know? <laughs> uh, we didn't even lose that many souls in the first place. So really all that we lost was human form. God damn it. There's another fat official here. Okay. We hide here. We can't take damage, so... How much crescent grass do I have? I literally can't read that number. I think that's an 8. I want to say that's an 8. I think that's 8, 25, 4, 3, I want to say. Oh, playing at this resolution is killing me. Okay, so I want him to use his fire attack. Let me do this. I wonder how much fire toss does to him. Oh, fire toss does more than Solaro. Nice to know. Cool. Shit, I'm gonna die. Yeah, this is definitely not the best situation where I'm not doing a lot of damage, but we're going to have to get used to it for now. And I I don't want this shit on my wheel. God damn. Sticky white stuff, you're good, but I don't want you right now. Insert semen joke. Anyway. Okay, let's kill you with melee. There we go. Bad official, you are annoying. Well, moon grass... You give a lot of souls, at least. Uh, what is this? Chunk of whatever. Cool. Shard of Clearstone. That's useless to me, but whatever. Uh, okay, we go in here. So we could have ignored him, but it's in our best interest to kill the fat officials when possible. Do you mind? Bro. Bro, do you mind? There. I was worried you would get in a pot shot if I had... If I went in the hallway, but, you know. Okay, um, hi. Hey, next one, come on down. This camera would be nice. Oh my god, the camera. Okay. Oh, he had a, oh gosh. He had a second windup I totally forgot about. Oh, I'm... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I felt it the second I did it. I'm like, oh, he's gonna punish. <laughs> ah, well. We're not at a great HP, but we're, 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 we're okay. I, I want... My secret goal for this Let's Play is to never need to grind. But I, 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 I probably will if I'm doing this type of a, like, randomness build. So, I don't know. We'll see. Press in Moongrass. I needed that. Uh... Pickaxe. Wow, you shouldn't have. 
So that's why I said we didn't need the pickaxe from that guy, because I know... Because I, I remember the game giving us one, and... Also, just, I think you can get a pickaxe drop from the guys who use pickaxes, so it's like, why bother? Yeah, you thought, you thought you would get me, didn't you, asshole? Fucking fat officials. Okay, um... Is this where I think it is? It is, okay. Shut up, dude. I'll kill you eventually. Rest your pretty little head. That shit will happen. What is this? Unknown soldier soul. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, I can target you from here. Okay, I'm probably gonna wanna use Solar Arrow because I don't think Flame Toss will go that far. Asshole! I don't know how to explain what just happened there, but. Okay. I, I think what's happening is that when you shield and you try to use a spell, sometimes it just doesn't go through. I'm not making an excuse. That was a bad time to use a spell, but I was trying to use it earlier than that, which was still a bad time, but, like, I don't know what it is. I, I can't tell if my spell timing is getting eaten or if I'm just doing it improperly or what. I don't know, man. Oh, that's great. Let's just take a lot of damage now. Uh, what do I want to do here? I guess, let me... I won't aggro the guys here, because they don't give a lot of souls, and I kind of want to just make it back to my soul. Are you aggroed? You are. Well, you're going to have to swing at nothing, then. Oh, I'm going to die. That guy caught up. Alright, everyone, take a ticket. We'll, we'll, I'll be with you shortly. Oh, you lived through Soul Arrow. You little fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'd choke on it. Anyway, uh, where's the other dogs? Where are the other dogs? There they are. Jesus, these guys do a lot of damage. Okay. Alright. Kind of wish I didn't have to use my grass there, but whatever. God. Grass management is going to be an issue at this Let's Play, I think, because I'm just... I don't know, I'm being a bit wasteful with it. Wasteful and wasteful. Okay, no, I want the, the fucking guy right here, I want to target him. Oh, I need a better shield. Also, I'm... S Ugh. God damn it, this is... Okay. Well... Okay, I guess I'm ending the segment there, then. Uh, yeah, I need to stop shielding when I'm trying to use, to use spells, because I think it's eating the input or something. Or just, it's not going through. Uh, and I'm not sure I want to deal with Stonefang as is right now, because my damage output's not great, and I kind of want to find a better weapon than what than the Crescent Falchion. I need to get a better dexterity weapon, so... I'm going to do a little bit of investigative journalism off screen and figure out where I want to go next. So probably not Stonefang, but maybe it will be. Who knows? Uh, either way, uh, I'll see you guys next time.